good morning year five so today we are moving on from doing our timetables and then reading and interpreting them in time we're moving back to fractions and decimals as percentages there's a bit of a recap but with a little bit of extra information so we're kind of looking at a little bit more detail around the decimals converting them into percentages so i know we've done a lot of work on fractions into decimals but this time it's then into percentages as well. So, first question is, circulate the fraction and decimal that match the picture. So first off, I'm just going to check, I'm going to see, well this is a hundred square because I know one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then we've got ten down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I know that, and then I'm going to see now it's easy to count, so I can count in tens then. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 1, 72, 73, 74, 75. So 75 squares are shaded. Okay, so 75 squares are shaded. Okay, that's really important. 75 squares are shaded in total. And then looking at fractions, and like I've spoken about before, I'm eliminating the answers. Ones that I know are definitely wrong. So I know 70 over 100, I know that is definitely wrong because there's 75 shaded. I then know 30 over 100 is definitely wrong because there's 75 shaded. And 30, 0 0.34. Well, see, we know decimals, or well, 1 would be 100 as a whole. And there's more than 34 shaded to 75 so then I'm left with 3 okay now it says circle the fraction and decimal so I should have one decimal one fraction to help us so here which match the picture so 0 0.75 or 0 0.7 well if it was 0 0.7 that would mean that 70 squares are shaded that's wrong and I'm left with 2 then I'm left with fraction and a decimal so 0.75 and 3 quarters well they are both correct 75 over 100 as such as a whole and 3 quarters is an equivalent fraction of 0.75 or 75 percent okay so then looking at the next one a match their grids to their percentages so here, count squares 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 8 out of 10 are um, shaded, so that is 80%. Then I'm going to use the count this one. So again, I know it's 100 squares. And I can count 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. And I know there's two not shaded, so I have got there. So sorry, count to start again 10. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78. So I know I have got 78%. So that one, sorry, counting that one. So then the last one, see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 are shaded. 6 out of 10 is 60%. Let's have a look at these ones then. So this time now we're looking a little bit different and we're looking at different ways. So one tenth as a percentage. So we know the percent sign means a hundred. Percentage is out of a hundred. Okay, so it's really important that you know that one tenth and percentage is a hundred. So if I was to times this by a hundred, to make it over a hundred, it would be 10 over 100. So it is 10%, okay, 10%. So a half, if you have half of something, what percentage do you have? Well, I know a half, and the equivalent fraction would be, again, 50 over 100, and the percentage is out of 100, that's my link, really important link, and 50%. A little bit different here, so 0 0.75 as a fraction, so again, I can say like, I know decimal, if it's not a whole, it's over 100, so 75 over 100. And I think of an equivalent fraction for that, so an equivalent. 
over for a fraction. I know that 75 over 100 is also three quarters. And it's really important. You are always using those terms as percent is 100. Try and convert fractions over 100 if possible. And the word equivalent. So then your task today is here. So you've got your task. So I want you to start on A if you're doing bronze. Start on B if you're doing bronze and um, silver or gold. And then the platinum challenge is here. Okay, so this is on the website. Use this example here to also help you. Okay, very visual. <coughs> and that will really, really help you guys. So complete the work and then send it to me on Dojo as soon as you have done it.